Hi and welcome back to our channel. I'm Yvonne from Nash Computer College and today I would like to tell you about WhatsApp hacking and how to enhance your safety. WhatsApp hacks can happen in different ways, but most of these incidents happen because of user vulnerabilities, rather than hacking the app's encryption or security directly. Here are some common ways people can be targeted. Attackers trick mobile network operators into doing a SIM swap. They convince them to issue them with a new SIM card with your phone number. Once they control your number, they can receive the verification SMS or the call used to log into the WhatsApp from another device. With that, they have access to your account. Attackers might trick you into sharing your WhatsApp verification code they might send a message pretending to be a friend or WhatsApp itself, asking for this code. Once they have it, they can log into your account. Hackers create fake websites or apps that looks like WhatsApp to trick users into entering their personal information, including login credentials. And this is what we call phishing. If someone gains temporary access to your phone, they can scan the WhatsApp uh, web QR code and access your conversations remotely. This method allows attackers to monitor your chats until the session is manually terminated. If your phone is infected with malware or spyware, it can capture the WhatsApp data or the screen content. Sometimes attackers use malicious apps disguised as legitimate ones to gain access. Using unsecured public Wi-Fi can expose your data to man-in-the-middle attacks, where attackers intercept communication between your device and the WhatsApp server. While WhatsApp conversations are end-to-end -end encrypted, cloud backups may not be. If your backup on Google Drive or iCloud aren't secure, attackers could access them. Now let's talk about protection measures. Enable two-step verification. This is an added extra layer of security by um, requiring a PIN in addition to a, the SMS verification code. Never share your WhatsApp verification code with anyone, no matter how trustworthy they seem. Use strong, unique passwords and PINs for your phone and backup services. Monitor your WhatsApp web sessions and log out of unknown devices. Always keep your phone and WhatsApp updated to the latest version to avoid any vulnerabilities. By understanding these methods and taking precautions, you can minimize the chances of your WhatsApp being hacked. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe to our channel and remember, stay safe out there.